What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. Um, another episode of Universes is here. The Aaron Jaeger or er, Universes Commentaries is here. Aaron Jaeger versus Wander from Shadow of the Colossus. Ah, oh, this is such a fun battle to do. I love Shadow of the Colossus so much. It's one of my favorite games on the PlayStation 2. Sadly, Wander lost, but that's okay because I also love Aaron from Attack on Titan. Such a good show. Such a good anime. Manga. Stuff. It's definitely one of the starter pack animes, though. It's so easy to get into. Very simple plot, just fighting for humanity. There's some conspiracies on the inside, and yada yada yada. <laughs> but very simple anime compared to most others. The arts, the art is beautiful, though. Um, and all the characters are memorable. It's super good. You just better hope none of your characters get eaten. <laughs> Woo! Um, but I wasn't into Attack on Titan before this episode. Researching it is what got me into it, and I was like, whoa, this is cool. Um, and I did not know there was a second season coming next month until I started researching this episode. Like, season one, 2013, I think, is when it happened. That was like four years ago, pretty much, and then all of a sudden, when I decided to do Aaron vs. Wander, there's a season two coming next month, so... I'm really excited for that. I got into it at like just the right time, so I won't be missing much. Um, this is also the first Universes episode where I used Respect Threads for research. Because, um, I never really looked on Respect Threads much before. I mean, I've heard of them, but I've never like relied on them heavily. Usually I go to some Versus Debate website combined with my own research. But versus debate websites specifically are not very accurate at all. They like tier the characters weird and it's... I don't know. It's hard to have your voice heard on a character's opinions. Like only the mods are allowed to say stuff even when the mods don't even know things about the character or the series. So they won't let you make changes to something you know about and they don't. Just because they're admins and you're not. That's what versus sites essentially are. Um, but respect threads. Anyone can personally heavily research a character that they want to and post all that they find um, on the Reddit. Sadly, the Jin Kazama one has already been taken and it's very bare bones and empty. I wish I could have been the one to do that and claim all that stuff. The Jin stuff. Uh, but oh well, what are you going to do? Luckily, the Aaron one for Attack on Titan was very good. I was able to find all of his feats very easily because in Respect Threads, they have you link to all the feats and scans, so you can't just say things without proof. Because I cannot tell you how many times I've heard feats and stuff on Versus websites, and then I can't find footage or a picture of it to show during the presentation. Because during the analysis, I like to have visual proof of what's going on or what I'm saying, along with having it in the side info bar, just so it bears down in your head what they can do. Like, I'll be like, um, uh, Jack Robots are country level, and then I'll have, like, in the info bar I'll be explaining all the different instances where they display country level feats, and then in the picture or video area I'll have a video of them tanking that country level blast or destroying the country level meteor, all that stuff. So I like to have all the visuals match up with the analysis. Um, something that Death Battle does, Animation Rewind doesn't do that, he just throws whatever on screen. You never know when to trust him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's a good, he's a good pal. Good buddy, good friend. Good old chum chum. Oh yeah, that was a very weird clip. Like usually at the end of an analysis, they have sort of a clip to show what the character is about after all the analysis is over, but I just didn't have that much footage because all of my anime websites are down so I can't like save episodes off of there. I had to get clips off of YouTube and I didn't know a good clip to get. But anyways, uh, um, Shadow of the Colossus. It's a game I've liked for a long time. Uh, I got into it thanks to the Countdown community. One of them in particular, his name is like the Autark or something, the Autark of Flame or whatever. Um, he does countdowns and stuff, he's part of the countdown community and his, he was a huge fan of Shadow of the Colossus. He'd like always have it in his countdowns or something like top 10 final bosses um, and one uh, Malice from Shadow of the Colossus would be there at some point on the list or 
top 10 saddest moments in gaming. And he'd have the part where you lose aggro and whatnot. So, he was a huge fan of Shadow of the Colossus. He was one of my favorite countdown guys. So, I was like, you know what? If he likes this game, and I should give it a try. So, I did, and I think I loved it just as much. It's one of my favorite games on the PlayStation 2 of all time. Um, I have played it over and over so many times. I think it's, I think it's actually one of the most replayed games I have. I'm surprised the disc hasn't broken from playing it so much, but um, it's a really fun game. I highly recommend Shadow of the Colossus. Like, don't be fooled by the very dull and monotone color scheme of the world. It is it is very creative in how to fight the bosses and all their designs and abilities and all the weapons you can use and how to use them and how to climb up to their weak spots. It's it's super fun. <clears throat> uh, but that's all I can think of for this episode. Um, but I actually had so I had I had stuff to say. I'm happy now. Um, next is Tails vs. Coco. Things are going to be slowing down for universes in a bit. I'll make a video later this week explaining why. Um, I'm going to get a lot busier in the upcoming weeks and months. It's 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 just going to be it's going to be a time. I'll just say that. Not a good time. Not a bad time. Just just a time. So I'll see you guys later. Leopold the Brave.